Okay, sorry about the air conditioner running in the uh, background, but uh, what I have here is the MTH and Lionel uh, O31 big boys. So what I have here for the Lionel is the Lion Master big boy 4014. And there's the model number. This is the Lion Master Lion Chief, uh, one that came out in 19. And this is the one that just came out uh, this year. This is the 2000. 23 and uh, I'm going to compare apples to apples. They are both O31 compatible. They are quite different. Uh, the Lion Chief <coughs> is was um, you know a thousand one hundred dollars, and the MTH is about half that. Uh, about I got mine for six fifty. Uh, a lot of places are selling for seven, seven fifty, eight hundred. Um, but let's go through uh, some of the, the differences. So right off the bat, the Lionel is the, the coal tender, and this version is the oil tender for MTH, which is kind of why I got this, because I wanted the oil. And uh, we have some color differences. The uh, Lionel is chrome, kind of a, well, it's kind of a nickel. I would say it's not that shiny, uh, but it's a little shiny. It's not, and then the MTH is definitely darker. It is a, uh, it's, I would say gunmetal, uh, almost a pewter. It's definitely darker. Uh, when you put it in the shadows, it disappears a little more. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, boiler, the tip of the boiler, on the MTH is a darker gray. Uh, the metallicness is not too bad, but this is more of a silver, and that is a darker gray. So the, the boiler fronts are a little different. Um, we have the golds are the same golds. The uh, numbers on the Lionel are white which is what I believe is correct. And the MTH are a hair on the silver side, which I, would, I wish they were, I wish they were white, but not too bad. Um, the text on the tender is again, this kind of a silver color, but from a distance, you really can't tell. And the, uh, let's see, the Lionel, Union Pacific, uh, on the picture, it looks white, but it's actually kind of a silver. But uh, I can't really tell. Pretty sure that's white. Looks white. Looks white to me. Uh, we got a couple differences in the lettering. Lionel has some letters right here, some text, and the MTH does not. The biggest flaw, and I'm the biggest, biggest issue that I have with the MTH is it is missing, it is flat out missing the number boards. There's the Lionel number boards, 4014. Here is the MTH number boards. Gone. Absolutely nothing. You get nothing right there. So that's ridiculous. So anyway, what I did was you go to the Lionel service website, you can get these. The Lionel ones. Now you can't get the 4014, which uh, is a bummer, but uh, I did get the 4011, if it would focus. 4011. So here is the uh, thing from Lionel. 4011. So I can scratch out that last one and uh, make or make it a four, and I'll be close enough. So I got a lefty, got a lefty and a righty, and that'll work. The uh, MTH, now the uh, Lionel, it has green lenses. So the only color that can be is green. Whereas the MTH, they are clear. And if I'm right, I think that's multi multicolored LED. I think it changes, you can change the color. Which um, all of the stuff I have seen is when the big boy runs at night is usually white, which represents, I believe, an extra. Whereas um, 
uh, green represents a standard train. I can't remember. I'll have to look at it again. But the colors mean something, and whenever I've seen it, they've always been white. So I think this is going to be standard as white. Um, we have some uh, dimensional differences. Um, now, if you know, these are O31 compatible, uh, which is kind of is ridiculous for a big boy, but it does work. The, uh, the real train, the rear uh, drivers are fixed to the boiler, and the front truck is articulated like that. But uh, Lionel and MTH have allowed the rear to articulate, uh, which allows it to make a sharp turn like this. Uh, and they've done it in different ways. Um, so the Lionel, if you look over here, it has this extra plate right here. And it's got this right here. It's got these beautiful um, valves right here. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. And then, uh, so that looks pretty good. That's the really, that looks good here. You got the uh, eight pin Lion Chief connector. And then over here on the MTH, you have this mess. It is a horrible mess. You have this extra connector here. You got an extra connector here. You got some blue here. You got uh, some metallic right there. It does not look good. It does not look good. You have this steel plate right here. I mean, I can kind of jiggle it to kind of give you an idea, but this, this doesn't look very good from this side. Uh, from this side, it looks okay. It looks okay. It's not the greatest. And then on the Lionel, it looks really good. It looks really good from here. You have enough filler in here to uh, kind of block out what your eye can see, whereas on the MTH, you got kind of a gap in there. There's a lot of light coming through there, so not so great. I wonder if, sorry, let me clean this lens real quick. Maybe that was the problem. So anyway, moving on the uh, front, the front right here is a little bit longer on the Lionel and it's shorter on here. It's kind of a stubby, it's a stubby version of that. Now on both of these, if you look at, so here's, here's the big boy right here, 4014. Now all of these, every picture I have of these big boys, uh, especially this one right here, you can really see it. They do not have these radiators. Both of them have the radiators on the front. Why? Why do they have these radiators? They're not in any photos that I see. So here's another one. They say, yeah, way over here, nothing. And here's a modern picture. This is a uh, 17 and, or 2019. So yeah, you see right, right here, nothing. There's no radiator there. Uh, this is a brand new photo. This is right when it came out. So the, the drivers are real silver. And so that looks pretty close to the Lionel. Now, they never had chrome chrome tires on the uh, the wheels. And so why Lionel put chrome on the on the tires, I don't know. The, the MTH are more accurate there. Because on the real one, they're just black. There's no, there's nothing there. Now later on, so this is like a, this is an early, early photo. Later on, they tarnished a little bit, and so now you can see they are that gunmetal. All the drivers are that gunmetal color, and now we're dead on to the MTH colors here. And uh, the MTH also they did silver on the two uh, boxes right here, and then silver on the tender and all these boxes here. So that's silver down there. And then Lionel, nothing, just black. Uh, also, I did find that uh, this is all a solid piece right here, whereas the MTH, it's uh, a 3D part. Um, but overall, uh, the finish, the fit and finish is nicer on the Lionel. Uh, the details are more intricate. See, that looks pretty good. That's all that detail. And then look on the MTH and not as good. The, uh, the, the, the 3D is not as clear. The paint is thicker. You have a solid piece right here. There's no black, no red. Um, 
the details here, the, the railing is real thin. I was not expecting that. This is real, real thin. It doesn't look, I mean, it's probably uh, more accurate, but I, I, I'm used to this thicker, thicker size of this Lionel right here, right there. But, uh, so yeah, um, the stick out. So dimensions, dimensions. Um, the MTH has, you know, the cab swings out quite a bit. So this comes out quite a bit. And this was from the fast track to the tip right here is 37 millimeters. And on the Lionel, it was 45 millimeters. So that, that one has quite a bit more swing out. Not a huge, uh, but, uh, and then as far as width, uh, the, the boiler, these are the two sizes. So we got the boiler, and here's the Lionel boiler. The MTH is wider. And uh, yeah, the MTH is wider and shorter. And so you, you can, and it's taller too. So if you step back, you can kind of start to see that the MTH is uh, bigger, but it's more squished. And the M, the Lionel is, it's a little lower, it's a little longer, it's a little more kind of accurate. So this is, uh, I can't remember, I, I, I measured it out. It's like 55, 155 scale. Um, and then the MTH is going to be closer to 48. Uh, but the MTH is squished. And the M, the Lionel is just shrunk down proportionally. Um, so whichever one you like. So the Lionel kind of looks more accurate to what the real big boy looks like. And the MTH... It kind of looks like a Challenger with, uh, with, you know, more drivers. So depending on, it's like a big boy version of a Challenger because it's, you know, squished. It's not as long as it should be. Um, but in the toy world of O30, toy world of Lionel, I think this is more kind of what you want. And to be fair, the width of this is kind of skinny because of the... Uh, so this is, so the, the MTH, I'm sorry, I got kids screaming in the background. The width of the line of the MTH is 68 millimeters wide. And so it's, this is four millimeters skinnier. And so when you have stuff behind it, it doesn't look as good because um, it's, so when you put it right next to a tender, the tender is going to be 67 millimeters wide. And your, uh, so this tender right here, so this is, this is wider than, than that. I don't know if you can see that, but you got some width issues here. Um, but, uh, so I think when you, when you put, because this one looks bigger, it looks better with bigger stuff. The stuff behind it's going to be bigger. And when you have 55 scale big boy, you need 55 scale stuff behind it for it to look right. And there, that doesn't exist. So, um, that's kind of why this is a little bit better, but if you want, if you're just displaying it, then, then this is better. And of course the price is, is a big difference. And, um, we can put these head to head. We can do a, uh, we can see who is longer. We'll put this track over here. We can get kind of an idea. And this is kind of, this is terrible. That, that, that gap there. And uh, the line now. So yeah, we got kids misbehaving upstairs. We got mom screaming. That's okay, we'll figure it out. Oh, uh, we'll put that right where it goes. So if you look at the line L, you can see that that is pretty much where it, right where it needs to go and so whoa look at that you can see how well the lionel lines up with the back versus the mth and this is the shorter draw bar that came in the, they came with two draw bars um and that's the shorter one so i don't understand what mth is doing with that gap there um it's possible i can shorten that up and find out but uh, you can see the quality. 
So the wood on this tender is kind of thick. It's got some very harsh wood paneling. Um, these don't open, but on the on the line out they do. These actually do. These are uh, leftovers from when it was the a TMCC line master, and there's even a volume label in there. Volume, which would, when it used to have the volume there, but now it's line chief. And so, uh, so yeah, we got it's the links are different. I don't know if that showed up, but I had a timer going off. But the uh, so quite honestly, the uh, they're the same length. But I mean, this is a hair. Let me put this. That's nose to nose or uh, 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 cow catcher to cow catcher. They're they're only they're a half inch different, but you have this three mile gap here. Um, if we shorten that up compared to the line L where it should be, which visually that would be perfect right there. Uh, well, then then you got an inch and a half. Of difference if you're comparing apples to apples um, but uh, yeah there you go um, you can kind of see how short this deck right here is really short on the MTH and mine came loose so I'll have to tighten that up but uh, you can compare the fronts They both look good. It's just the MTH looks horrible. Missing those numbers. That's that's kind of the one of the main things with the big boys, those big numbers up there. And they are just gone. Why, why, why? But uh, yeah, and I I have the uh, decal for this one. Big boy. And I am missing my bell. I ordered a new bell. I have no idea where that went. Uh, but uh, you can get so MTH, they didn't do the uh, the decals there. They they said they were sorry, I guess. Uh, but you can get aftermarket decals just like this one and put it on there. But uh, yeah, two big boys. They are big. They are boys. Well, not really. They're just machines. But uh, <laughs> but there you go. Uh, the the details like like what I was saying was the. Uh, the details right here in the in the wood in the tender that looks really good on the Lionel. It's very detailed, looks like wood. Whereas this just looks like it it's just more toyish and the the paint is thicker and so it's just not as detailed. So that applies everywhere across. It's not as good. Um, the Lionel is better. Uh, but is it $600 better? I kind of don't think so. Uh, I kind of think save your money and get the uh, MTH, um, especially since this one's completely unavailable. Um, so this is kind of your only option in O-Scale. But uh, pretty cool. And that's the uh, MTH uh, water tender. They don't have the ones with the square backs. They just have this leftover from the uh, turbine um, water tender. Or that used to be an oil tender, I thought. Uh, but uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.